Hey, welcome to Fathering Our Future, the podcast for dads. I'm Anthony Vandegrift, and I'm not the perfect dad, but every day I am trying to be better. Thank you for being with me today. I want to talk to you about continuing in hope. I think we as dads, we struggle sometimes dealing with our past, our present, and our future. And the three are connected. You can't break them apart. You have to know how to deal with all three of those. And you can't really continue forward in life until you know what you're doing with past, present, and future. So I want to talk to you about how to deal and how to perceive with those categories of time so that you can continue life with hope and in hope. First, since it's Memorial Day, let me first say to those families who have lost loved ones due to serving and defending this great country and our freedoms, thank you. Be proud of their sacrifice, and I pray that God's peace and comfort would be with you, not only today, but every day that you are without that person that you are missing so much and that you love so much. But again, be proud because they've made an impact and they've made a difference. And for everyone else, I hope that you have taken advantage of the extended break that we have, and I hope you have had valuable quality time with your kids, with your families, especially in lieu of what happened in Uvalde, Texas just a few days ago. It is a sad reality of how quickly the ones you love can be snatched away. So I hope that in lieu of that, you you made this, this weekend count and that you make every day count. I know it gets difficult. You get caught up in life and you sometimes forget, but I I hope that this is a little reminder, not only to cherish the time that you have, but also to say a prayer for those families in Uvalde, because for us, it's easy to move from headline to headline, but for them, they'll live with it every day. So say another prayer for them, because they need God like never before. But today, I want to talk to you about continuing in hope, and how to deal with your past, your present, and your future. Because again, it's very easy to be overwhelmed with the life that you live right now, but that is predicated upon how you deal with your past and how you view your future. And so I want to help you have a little bit of a structure, and this is this is what I want you to take away. I want to say this a few times because I really want you to take this away. You need to learn from your past. You need to live in your present, and you need to look forward to your future. And I think if you can do this, you can continue every single day in hope. You can wake up every morning and have hope, and you can live the way that you need to live as a dad, as an individual. I think this is going to help you in every area of life, but especially in fatherhood, I think this will help you be a better dad. And this is is what I'm practicing. So, I want you to continue in hope. I want all of us to continue in hope. But we got to deal with our past. We've got skeletons in the closet. We have mistakes that we have made. And I want you to be encouraged that you're not the only one who's made mistakes. Anyone who judges you and tries to condemn you for something that you've done in the past is nothing but a hypocrite because they have skeletons in the closet too. They have mistakes that they have made. They have thoughts that they have had in their mind that they should not have had. Maybe their stumble wasn't as public as yours. It doesn't matter. No one has the right, no one has the justified righteous past to condemn you or judge you. We're all in this thing together. There's a big group of of failures, and if you think you're the first one, you just need to turn around because there's a big group of us saying, hey, welcome to the party. We all make mistakes. We all fail. We have to learn how to forgive ourselves. We have to learn to put the past to bed. You cannot change the past. You cannot go back in time. I know we have this big fantasy that one day we'll figure out how to go back and change everything so that the entire course of our life is different than it is right now. That is... While in theory it sounds like it could be nice, it could cause a lot of problems, I'm not going to dive off into that tangent, but that's not a reality. That cannot happen. You have the life that you have. You have the past that you have. But your past doesn't have to be something that pulls you down. Your past ought to be something 
that causes you to grow. Because that's your experience. That's where your knowledge and your wisdom is derived from. That's at least a source of it. You have lived through certain things, and you have made wrong choices in certain situations. Well, now you know what not to do. Now you're a step further than you were whenever you failed. That's the thing about failure is we always look failure, we, we look at failure as if it is a step back, but that's not really the case. It might not be the step forward that you want, but it is, in a sense, a step forward. If you were trying, if you were putting forth an effort and you fail, it's still a step in the right direction. Even if you mess up, it is still a step in the right direction. So we have to learn how to look back on our past through the proper lens and how to deal with it. Whatever it is in your past that weighs you down, you have to look at it right in the face and you just have to make a decision that it is done. Figure out the lesson and the moral of the story, learn from it, add it to your bank of knowledge, and keep on moving. That's what you have to do. There, there is no other option. There's no other option that's going to give you a lifestyle where you get to continue living in hope. As long as you hold on to the past, that will not and cannot happen. You have to let go of it. You have to take the nuggets and the gems from your failures, and you have to move on. Because the reality is, is if you'll hold on to all of your past failures, then that's all you're consumed with in the present. And then you don't live in the present. And so all of these wonderful opportunities that you have on a continual basis to be with your family, to do something that makes a difference, to make an impact here, to smile at someone there, to greet someone that you never get to talk to over here. All of these opportunities that you get, you miss because you're so stuck on something that happened maybe years ago. And the reality is every opportunity that you miss in the present, you eventually come to realize, and it's just constantly getting heaped back on this huge pile of mistakes that you feel like you have. It just gets worse. It gets more overwhelming. You feel like you're more of a failure constantly because you're not doing the hard work of dealing with the past. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself because we all have to do that. We all have mistakes. We've all failed. You're not alone. We're all doing this as dads. As people, we are all doing this. So forgive yourself, look at your past, and realize that it is over and done with. You worrying about something that you cannot change is only affecting you in a negative way. But the beautiful thing is when you actually come to terms with the fact that your past is in the past, you cannot change it, you can only glean some wisdom from it, and you realize it's done, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be consumed with my past anymore. Then it gives you the opportunity to live in your future. So this is when you actually get to take all of the knowledge from your failures and you get to apply it in life. Oh, I missed I missed out on this opportunity. Great. It's come back around to me. I'm not going to miss it this time. Oh, I realized that it would have been better for me to make my kids game rather than work a few extra hours overtime for whatever you know I thought I was going to get out of it. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to say, hey, my work day is done. I've got a game i got to get to. Whatever the circumstance might be, you take the knowledge from the past and it gives you this new perspective to live in the present, to live in the right now. And you get to just, you find fulfillment in it because you know what you're supposed to be doing, because you know what not to do. It gives you a wonderful opportunity to live right now and to do the things that you're going to be so glad that you did. And there's another thing that I want to tell you. When you dread the past because of all the mistakes, you often are fearful of the future because you just have this perspective of it's going to keep being bad. It's not going to get better. I don't see how it can get better. And as you fear the future, you avoid the present because the present coming at you is technically the future. It's just the present's, you know, really, really quick. It's, you have an opportunity to live in it, 
and then it becomes the past. Future becomes the past just in a moment. So you cannot be fearful of what is ahead, and you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be as a dad. I did something a few nights a few nights back now, and, and I've done it before, and I would encourage you to make this a regular practice in life. I was rocking the baby to bed. And typically, confession here, typically I'll get on my phone because this is a good opportunity when she's kind of fallen asleep for me to catch up on email, to check whatever I need to check on social media, to maybe brainstorm some ideas for the podcast or whatever it might be. I can text people. I can do a number of different things on my phone because it's fabulous technology. And a lot of times that's what I end up doing. But this one particular night, for whatever reason, I just had this thought dawn on me that you know, these moments are precious, that I, I don't get this back. But I was as I was rocking her, I began to think of what life will be like with her, that there will be a day that I get to walk her down the aisle. And that will probably be a tough day, but it's going to be a special day. It's a day that I have to look forward to. She's going to grow up. She's going to develop a different personality. She's going to develop different skills and giftings and abilities. And I get to be a part of that because I'm her dad. And I begin to think about it just across the board with all of the kids. I'm going to watch Frankie probably play a sport. I don't know what it's going to be. He keeps changing back and forth, but something probably. He wants to be active. He's he's a crazy little kid. He's going to have fun, but I get to be a part of that. It's not happening right now in the present, but it's coming up in the in the future. And it's not too far away because time flies. So do yourself a favor and try this exercise periodically. Think about your kids. Think about where they're at right now. You're older than them. You know how life goes. And think about the milestones that are coming up. Think about, oh, they're getting ready to get a car. Kind of scary. But at the same time, it's a cool opportunity. You get to have some pretty good bonding time teaching your kid how to drive. At least least you should. (laughs) You should teach your kid how to drive. You're going to have a pretty cool opportunity. Watch them walk down to get their diploma as they graduate high school. You're going to have a pretty cool opportunity viewing colleges. You're going to have a pretty cool opportunity watching them graduate college. You're going to have a pretty cool opportunity watching them blossom in their career choice, or even struggle. But you know what? You'll get to be there for support. You'll get to be there to be the voice that they need. You'll get to be there to be the dad that they absolutely need in life. One day you'll get to be a part of their wedding. One day you'll get to see your grandkids. One day everything kind of comes full circle, and you have all of this to look forward to. My kids are five, three, and one. I've got a few. I've got a few years for some of those things, but I know I'm getting ready to watch my kids get involved in different hobbies and activities. I'm getting ready to see how their personality now manifests itself as they get a little bit older. I, I know I'm in for some trouble, but I'm looking forward to it because they're my kids. This is my family. I get to be a part of what's coming. So again, you learn from the past. You live in your present. And you look forward to your future. And when you have something to look forward to, that's hope. So you get to continue in hope. You get to live in hope because your present is beautiful. And you get all these great opportunities. And your past, you're not worried about because it is done. It is settled. You're just learning from it. You're going through things. Ah, That could have been better. Let me learn from that. But I'm not going to dwell on that. That's not going to keep me from living right now. And it's not going to blur my vision of what's to come. It's not going to get my eyes off of the hope that I have with my family. It's not going to detour me from obtaining what I get these opportunities, these privileges of having these moments and these shared times with your kids. Learn from your past. Live in your present. 
Look forward to your future. You have great, you don't just have something to live for. You have a plethora of things to live for. You have a life worth living. And I'm, this is not just, oh, I'm, a th- I'm contemplating taking my life. If you are, get help, take this to heart, but get help. But if you're not there, you can go through life without living in life. You can go through the mundane, and then at some point, time will catch up, and you will realize, I really have no idea what happened the last five years, the last 10 years. It's just, it's just gone by so fast. And now I miss some things. Now I realize that I, I did miss some things. You have to learn from the past. You have to live in your present. And you have to look forward to your future. And if you'll do that, if you'll you'll deal with these sections of time in that fashion, you continue in hope. Because every day you're a little bit closer to a beautiful opportunity. Every day you're a little bit closer to this big milestone that you'll get to be a part of. It's not just that every single day you get to do wonderful things in the present, but you're also getting closer to wonderful things. So learn from your past. Live in your present and look forward to your future. And if you'll do that, you'll continue in hope. You'll have purpose when you wake up in the morning. You'll have a reason to smile every single day. And you'll be happy. And you will make the most of what you have right now. So, learn from your past. Live in your present. And look forward to your future. This is Fathering Our Future, the podcast for dads. I'm Anthony Vandegrift. Thank you for being with me. And I hope you'll join me next time. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. I hope it has blessed you and challenged you to strive to be a better dad every day. And if you'd like more great content like this, just subscribe to the channel. Also, if you think dads are valuable and essential to the family, consider supporting this effort. Just go to fatheringourfuture.com and click support. Every contribution helps and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you for being a part of Fathering Our Future.